Dr. Fizz, Theoretical Physics, the perihelion shift of Mercury. Here's the calculation we did earlier from general relativity and this is a picture to illustrate the advance. This little shift is what you get every time a planet goes around the Sun and we're going to use Mercury here since Mercury is close to the Sun the effects easily observed compared to the others and here we have for one revolution 2 pi and you get an advancement in addition to that from general relativity so they illustrate that here with the perihelion this is the uh, point to focus your attention on that's closest to the Sun and in one revolution there's the 2 pi plus a little shift delta. Now the effect is so small it's amazing that astronomers are so good to measure these things accurately. For example here we find there's 574 arc seconds per hundred years per century due to planetary effects they take out any spinning top physics effects and here they can explain all of it but 43 so 43 is a mystery 43 arc seconds per century now remember a degree is pretty small an arc minute is a 60th of a degree an arc second is a 60th of that and we're talking here only 43 of these in a hundred years so that's a lot of revolutions here mercury goes around the sun what 88 days uh, each time so you have to go around a lot see uh, in a year uh, you go around it's like 90 days um, 90 days uh, basically uh, three months so you're doing like about four a year and then a hundred years like 400 times uh, to get that small 43 arc seconds so we're gonna plug in the values and check it out. Here we have a G. A G, by the way, has units uh, given here so that when you have the GMM over R squared, the uh, two masses give the kilogram squared, will cancel the one over kilogram squared, and the inverse square law, the one over m squared, uh, meter squared, will cancel here and you get newtons. This is the exact value for the speed of light. The meter is defined that way. I'm going to do overkill here and keep lots of of significant figures but I'm gonna round off the four at the end and here you see this is my most uh, uncertain one here which is four significant figures the mass of the Sun the semi-major axis of Mercury and this is dimensionless the eccentricity well when you plug it in notice that here our dimensions are going to units are going to cancel out this is kilogram meter per second squared since that's what a newton is what I did is I came in here and said a newton is F equals MA so that's kilogram times meters per second squared then I simply copy down this second part down in here and then for the uh, mass of the Sun got kilograms this is the speed of light squared meters per second and this is the semi-major axis so we are applying uh, this formula here uh, the 6 pi out in front and watch these units cancel out real nicely to check kilogram times meters per second squared here we have meters squared over kilogram squared and a kilogram over there down in the denominator meters squared here second squared in the denominator there meters squared over second squared and a meter and here you can see that this kilogram and that kilogram takes care of this kilogram squared this one over second squared takes care of the one over second squared there and this meters squared meter meters cube takes care of meters cubed there and you get the dimensionless quantity here uh, for your angular measurement the radians so when you do all that this is what we get and then we go along 
to figure out 100 years and for 100 years let's see well this is the result for one revolution and here in 100 years mercury will do how many revolutions well you divide by the 88 days and here days per year so these days cancel and these years cancel just to check the the, the units here so 100 years times 365 days in a year gives you all the days and then you divide by 88 days and you get this so the shift for the century will be n this is the revolutions per century times the shift per revolution so when we do that we get this result and we want to get that into arc seconds since that's so small so we do that by multiplying by the conversion factor here 180 degrees divided by pi radians to get degrees and then 3600 to get the arc seconds and the answer is look at this 43.00 arc seconds per century and we conclude with the cover of Time magazine where Einstein was named the person of the century.